GDB 2033 Introduction to Management In this era where technology has progressed by leaps and bounds, the dynamic environment has greatly affected the companies in their management. So today, we are here at Blockwich Malaysia Sanjian Berhad to further understand the management practices in a real organizational settings. Blockwich Malaysia is one of the company that has been operating since 1996 and it is one of the leading supplier of automotive parts in Malaysia. As such, knowing the importance of managers and having acquired a deep respect for what managers do, we were tasked to analyse an organisation from a variety of points such as its environment, its decision making, its planning strategies, the way an organisation manages its human resources and the way an organisation manages change and innovation. So without further ado, let us jump into the content. Pass to you, Shabe. Thank you. Without wasting any time, let's jump straight into the first chapter of our project which is the management environment. As you can see, there are six different components for the management environment, which is the political slash legal, social cultural, demographic, global, technological, and economic. However, for block switch company, these four components don't play a huge part. Because block switch company is an auto parts manufacturer, they have to rely on technological advancement in order. They have to rely on technological advancement such as CO2 robotic welding in order to ensure a high quality of products. Furthermore, Due to the recent economic downturn, the managers at Block Switch Company have decided to shift from a 24-hour production cycle to a normal 8 am to 9 pm production cycle. This can reduce the economic stress on the Block Switch Company. Moving on to the uncertainty metrics, as you can see, Block Switch Company operates in cell 3 of the, of the uncertainty metrics where there is a complex degree of complexity but a relatively stable degree of change. This means the managers at Block Switch operate in a relatively stable management environment. This allows them to concentrate on their customers who are the main stakeholders at Block Switch. Thank you very much. So now we will proceed with Chapter 2 which is Decision Making. So after the interview with Block Switch Malaysia Sanjuan Bahad, we have found out the way that the company, how the company actually make their own decision. So first, they will actually identify the problems in each and every department. Second, they will carry out meetings in every department present in the company. And third, the department managers for every department will uh, meet with the top managers for a meeting to analyze and update all the findings. So this decision-making process of Broadwich Malaysia and John Hart uh, greatly correlates with the eight-step decision-making process that we studied in uh, ITM. And the first step is problem identification, which is very similar to the Blockwich Malaysia having the first step. The second step, third step, and fourth step, which is the identification of criteria, allocation of weights, as well as the development of alternatives are done uh, in every uh, departmental meetings uh, present in the company. And the fifth and sixth steps, which is the analysis of alternatives, as well as the selection of an alternative is done between the departmental managers, as well as the top managers of the company. So after they find out the best alternative of the decision, they will finally implement the decision and after the implementation, they will evaluate uh, the effectiveness of the decision. As for this chapter 3, we have to relate globalization to our chosen company which is Blockswitch Company. Uh, uh, globalization is a process where an organization starts to operate on an international scale and there are few stages to achieve globalization which are outsourcing, import and export, licensing, franchising, strategic alliance, and also foreign subsidiary. Based on block switch, uh, there are currently no participation in globalization. As explained by the manager of block switch, uh, block switch only manufacture following the client's needs, such as uh, uh, clients such as Prodo and Proton. They only prefer domestic materials for their car parts. As for now, there are currently no plans to go global for Block Switch Company. Thank you. In chapter 4, we will discuss about the managing human resources. Basically, in the Block Switch Company, they will have a weekly meeting, but the final decision will be made by the top management. 
in term of the training for a new worker after they hire a new staff or a new worker they will have a one week training in order for the worker to have this sense of belonging to learn the company besides that the criteria for the new worker is that they must have a normal BMI because they will work inside the factory the broad switch company also emphasized on the technical skills where most of the worker need to have a hands on because the, the worker need to work in the factory and also the workforce diversity the workforce diversity means all the races in Malaysia work in there so they can create a harmonious culture therefore the broad switch company apply all the necessary skills and techniques that we learn in introduction to management in order for them to manage the human resources. In chapter 5, we will talk about the managing change and innovation. Example of managing change is survey feedback and also process consultation. This is happening in block switch company, example process consultation where they practice door-to-door -door consultation so the worker can come to the office to meet the manager in terms of stress management it is important to for everyone to have stress so that they can achieve the key performance index and also can increase the quality of the product especially in the manufacturing industry in conclusion block switch company has applied all the necessary skills and techniques that we have learned in introduction and management course. Decision making such as program and non-program decision is important for the, in order for the manager to create a healthy working environment. Furthermore, planning such as informal and formal planning is also necessary in order for the worker to achieve their key performance index. In addition, uh, BlockSwitch has also proven to us on how to adapt the managing skills in facing the problems from the external environment. And lastly, we can also see that BlockSwitch has fully utilized the four basic management functions which are organizing, planning, leading and also uh, controlling. Uh, in order to maintain and also improve the high quality of products that BlockSwitch has known for. And that's all from us. Thanks for watching.